From the editors of The Advocate and the worldwide resources of HEAR Networks, this is an Advocate.com special report, Marriage Equality in California. Hello once again, I'm Steve Kometko, and this is another in a series of reports on Advocate.com about the historic events in California that we're calling the Freedom to Marry. One of the first same-sex weddings is about to take place on the steps of Beverly Hills City Hall, hence all the media trucks behind me. Four years ago, thousands of same-sex couples tied the knot when San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom declared it was their right. Shortly afterwards, however, the legality was challenged and the unions dissolved. But when a California Supreme Court ruling reversed the ban recently, the pilgrimage to the West Coast began anew. From San Francisco now, James Satori reports for Advocate.com. As hundreds of supporters faced down a small group of protesters outside San Francisco City Hall, Inside, 84-year-old Phyllis Lyon and 87-year-old Del Martin celebrated an historic legal victory and a dream fulfilled. After 55 years as a couple, they were married. The advocate was granted the first and only question right after a ceremony behind closed doors. Yes, I'd like to ask you, how does it feel today, after 55 years, to be legally married? We're very happy and we're very grateful for all of you coming. <laughs> we are gathered here. They've actually been down this road before. Four years ago, Lyon and Martin, who are gay rights pioneers, were the first of more than 4,000 same-sex couples married when San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom chose to defy a state ban. That led to a legal challenge by anti-gay activists. Eventually, the marriages were voided. But last month, California's Supreme Court ruled the ban on same-sex marriage is just as illegal as banning interracial marriage. Mayor Newsom calls it a movement that will not be stopped. So you better believe it. This is inevitable across the United States. But clearly the battle here is not over yet. Opponents of same-sex marriage have filed an initiative to reinstate the ban, which will go before voters in November. The question is, to what extent has public opinion changed since the initial ban was imposed eight years ago, with 61 percent of the vote? There has been a true sea change in public opinion in the last decade on this issue. You know, we moved from 25 points back in 2000 to virtually a dead heat today. Meantime, the county clerk's office has taken appointments to marry more than 2,300 same-sex couples over the next 90 days, all, like Phyllis Lyon and Del Martin, simply wanting their loving relationship recognized just as any straight couple. No more, no less. In San Francisco, I'm James Hattori for The Advocate and HEAR Networks. Robin Tyler and Diane Olson are the first same-sex couple to receive a marriage license and wed in Los Angeles County. Also plaintiffs in the original suit seeking to change the laws, the acting county clerk thought it only right that Tyler and Olson be first in line here. Actually, the word line is too tame to describe the scene. Robin and Diane waited a long time for this day. What awaited them when they arrived at the Beverly Hills City Hall was nothing short of a media madhouse. This kind of craziness usually accompanies the appearance of a misbehaving celebrity. But Robin and Diane welcomed all the fuss. Well, it's not just about us. We, we stand on the shoulders of hundreds of activists that fought for this. So the attention is toward us today, but we really have to thank everybody that fought with us. The couple made their way through a gauntlet of family, friends, reporters, and photographers. It wasn't easy. There were also opponents of same-sex marriage carrying signs condemning gays and lesbians. Tell me why you're here today. This is a sin. It's a sin in the eyes of God. After getting their license inside, they came outside. For the record, Robin and Diane wore matching suits they had specially made in Singapore just for this occasion. Then, standing in front of their rabbi, they exchanged vows, rings, and an emotional and passionate embrace. Even though they've been together for years, Robin and Diane thought it was too important not to fight for the right to legally marry. First of all, uh, gays and lesbians should have the choice of marrying. Whether or not they want to marry, we should have every right that straight people do. And if they have the choice to marry, we want it. But also, Diane got sick in Hong Kong, and when I said, this is my domestic partner, they didn't know what we were talking about. I can say now, we're married, this is my wife. They will clearly know what that relationship is. While it's San Francisco and Los Angeles that are widely known for being gay friendly, San Diego, likewise, has a similar reputation and a sizable gay and lesbian community. Wedding bells are ringing there, too. 
Here's John Carroll for Advocate.com. San Diego, a vibrant city of more than a million people. This postcard view of the city's downtown skyline makes it easy to see why it's called America's finest city. But it's the Hillcrest neighborhood where you find the hub of San Diego's GLBT culture. A nice mix of shops, restaurants, and of course, bars. This beautiful area is the heartbeat of the city's LGBT community. Here in Hillcrest, things are a little more laid back than they are in West Hollywood or the Castro for that matter. But don't let the relaxed attitude fool you. When it comes to the subject of gay marriage, the opinions here are as strong as anywhere else. I think it's amazing. 23-year-old Josh Landry says he was overjoyed by the California Supreme Court decision. Marriage isn't in the cards for him at the moment. What's more important is the freedom to marry. I mean, I never thought about marriage, but it's nice to know if I ever wanted to get married, I can, you know, that I have nothing stopping me. At Dream Florist in Hillcrest, there's no doubt about how they view the Supreme Court's action. At this lesbian-owned flower shop, they'll tell you it was the right thing to do. But it's also proving to be really good for business. Last week alone, I mean, we had people coming in with inquiries and setting up um, dates and aligning, um, getting their floral arrangements, you know, ahead of time. So, I mean, we've seen traffic, and this is usually a slow time of year for floors. San Diego has been a military town for years, and for a long time, that meant conservatives pretty much ran things. That's not the case these days. Longtime gay journalist Rex Wachner covers the city's GLBT community. It's an old-fashioned idea from, golly, the 70s maybe, that San Diego is a conservative city where you can't expect uh, liberal California stuff to happen. This is a pretty good place to be gay, and there's not a lot, uh, there's not a lot to fight about, you know? Even, as I said earlier, even our Republican mayor is pro-gay. Uh, district attorney is a lesbian, the fire chief is a lesbian, my state senator is a lesbian, my city councilwoman is a lesbian. And so San Diego gets ready to extend marriage rights to its LGBT citizens. And first on the docket, that would be these guys, Tom Felkner and Bob Lehman, who've been together now for 15 years. I think California believes in fairness, and that's you know part of why we all live out here. And, and California is a progressive state going back to interracial marriage being uh, that ban being lifted back in 1948. So this is just another historic step that our state's taking. So at this historic time, Felkner and Lehman are representative of thousands of other LGBT San Diegans, proud of their city and of their state for the bold message of equality they hope will now sweep across the country. Stay tuned to Advocate.com for more on the freedom to marry over the next few days, or pick up the latest issue of The Advocate at your local newsstand. I'm Steve Kometko for Advocate.com. Oh, and one more thing. If you have wedding pictures you'd like to share with us, please, by all means, send them to us at marriageatadvocate.com. We'd love to see them. We'd love to post them. After all, a picture is worth a thousand words. See you next time.